going into the Sahara Desert in a 4x4 Toyota, the Japanese camel. We're now seeing some dunes as we get deeper into the desert. Now we're going to our tent camp. We now switched into 4x4, low gear here. Ali is our driver. And we are going on the Sahara Desert sand. It doesn't get any cooler than this. We are going to create our own road. Whoa. It's absolutely amazing and hard to believe that after all the years of hearing about the Sahara Desert, and now we're actually standing on it with all of these dunes. And we've arrived at our tent camp, really not far from Algeria. There's a natural mountain ridge that divides Morocco from Algeria only a few miles away. Well, it could be 20 or 30, but this is an amazing, amazing place that we find ourselves in. And of course, the nomads know that we have moved in, so the girls with the merchandise have come right away and are selling to us. I'm not sure this is Amazon.com, but they have a lot of cute little things. We are now inside our tent on the Sahara. We have the lady of the house, Jude. She's in bed, snuggled all up. Take a look over here. There she is. Good night. Good night. And over here we have the shower and sink on the right. Shower head up there. And this is the back door. And a flush toilet. The seat isn't attached, but flush toilet. So, it's 8.30, and since we're getting up at 6, good night. It's 6.30 on November 6, 2015, and our tent camp is waking up for the sunrise. Yes, that's rise, sunrise, on the Sahara Desert in Morocco.
Gary, rooster. Waiting for the sun to rise. Get your hair combed. Adventure it was for my 50th birthday. Photography. <laughs> Hard to imagine we are in the Sahara Desert on camels. Incredible. Judy, what do you think? Oh, they're. I think it's pretty cool. I thought you said. And a beautiful day. <laughs> Little crisp in the air, but nice sun. Probably it was 60 when we woke yeah. up, got up at sunrise, and now it's probably. Getting up to 70. Look at the dunes. Bright sunshine. Yeah, yeah. Quite a we can name our own camels since they don't have names. Oh, yeah. It's so pretty, but I don't know. Pretty long way down. Longer than the horse I fell off of. Fifty-two days to Timbuktu from here in Mali. Well, he's posing, isn't he? Yeah. We've come to the tent of a nomad family. The lady is 51 years old, and she is widowed many years, and she has eight children, and she has grandchildren, and uh, this is her tent that she uh, has made herself out of camel and goat hair. And she moves maybe every three months, depending on whether there is food and water nearby. Her children may have a tent if they're old enough, uh, a mile away or more, and they would uh, all move when they do as a family unit. So they all take care of their elderly as they get old by staying together. Exception might be that a son's wife who owns the tent as customary, might say, no, we're not going to go this time. But generally they stay all together. And there are sandstorms come when they can let down the uh, edges of the tent. The tent is somewhat waterproof, although there are seams that are not, and there are holes you can see in some of the fabric. And uh, 
as you'll see in a minute, she's making new goat and camel hair combination to make repairs on the tent. Not a very hospitable land. But there are wells and they can take their camels, of which they have five, and they have goats and uh, donkeys too that the uh, entire family has and they can take them to the wells and then they have to search for food on the landscape. Zuga, you know, like the neighboring towns. So she or her this children go once a week to bring all what they need. Mm -hmm. Now your question, Judy, please. Look at that. And her <laughs> and... No, does she have a loom? Which I think that Didi had she had a... Can you go in the same direction of the loom? All right. She... Uh, some of her neighbors around have have a loom, so she gets it, oh. makes these, oh. and then she brings it back oh. to them. How do they store food to keep it from spoiling? Tell me, how do you store food to keep it from spoiling? How do you store food to keep it from spoiling? Tell me, how do you store food to keep it from spoiling? So, she, they bring all what is dry. Uh, okay. So yeah. this will last for one week. And this will last forever. The lanterns. Uh, Can you at the market do they barter do they barter with like a wool or do they have to use uh, money? money? Mm -hmm. Rentals. So can you pass it around? Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Can you pass the lantern as well? Great. Lala Khadija. I think. So, what is this? 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 And we say goodbye to our Sahara tent camp. And we take a short walk, about a half hour to be picked up, getting a little exercise early in the morning. Goodbye, Sahara.